Hi guys, it's Becky, and it is about time for us to open up and sort the next Softflex design kit. Um, I like to open them up, get them sorted in my little 15 section organizer so that I can work from that kit over the next month and make things. Um, this is a design kit, it's a design challenge kit. Basically, there's on the their Facebook site, whatever you make, anything that you make, post a picture of it, it counts as an entry into their little design challenge. And the design challenge is not a what's best, they do a random draw at the end of the month and somebody wins the next kit that they come out with and that they pursuit, um, produce. And um, the design kits are one of my favorite, favorite things to get every month and to work from. Um, it's not a subscription though. So if you want one, you have to get them um, before they sell out. And so usually on the last Wednesday of the month, that's when they open up that design kit. So I won't be posting this until after the official reveal. Um, <laughs> we won't be doing that. Um, but that's when they reveal what the, the theme of the next one will be. And that's when they make that available for purchase. So I got this, <laughs> I went ahead and bought it at the beginning of this month, um, after I found out what, uh, what the theme was and, and all of that. So it's, it's a really fun kit. It comes with everything that you need, except for the tools to be able to make jewelry. So it's a great uh, maybe gift idea for someone who is a starter or a beginning beater. And there's tons and tons of information and tutorials on the Softflex YouTube channel and in the VIB group um, for how to make things. I have learned so much from them um, from when I first started beating till now, um, mostly from the folks over at, at Softflex um, and all that. So it's, it's one of the things that I love to do every month. I love to participate in this and I'm happy to purchase this when it comes out. <laughs> and that's what I did with this one. Um, usually they also have an accompanying bead mix that you can purchase and or a bead strand um, after the reveal. If they have extras of the bead mix that comes in here, they'll put that up there. And um, there have been some design kits that I love the bead mix so much I went ahead and bought a second one to do extra things with. I might be doing that with this. I don't know because I haven't opened this. I don't know what's in it. So let's get this open and let's see what's in it. Now the theme for this is Deco the Halls, which something's telling me that it's going to be an Art Deco theme. I don't know why I would think that. I don't know. It's, it's, it sounds like it, it would logically make sense. Let's, let's open this up. Oh boy. And so like, there's some things that you can usually find in there. Like there's going to be ear wires. There's going to be lobster clasps. Um, there's going to be the soft flex crimps. They always put some of those in these. And then there's going to be some strands of beads and a bead mix by Jesse James Beads. And that's what we have here. And here's our Deco the Halls bead mix. And you know what? I still have some of these types of connectors from the uh, Overlook Hotel mystery, Magical Mystery Bead Box. So I could probably grab some of those and do some extra stuff with this one. I think that that would be a good combination for that. Ooh, look at that. We've got some check glass. We've got some findings. Like I said, they always include some extra findings. You've got your crimp tubes and we've got both colors. This is a mixed metals box, guys. We've got silver and gold. And so we've got silver and gold ear wires and a silver and gold clasp. And look at this great button. We'll get that open in a minute. But then let's pull out some of our other We've got some deck art deco beads, some fans. We've got some ceramic beads. We have some pearls. And we've got some fire polish beads. These are great. And then they always include a spool of the Softflex medium beading wire. And this is one of my favorite beading wires. Um, it is really easy to use. It has such a great coating on it. Um, you don't have to use a, uh, a wire guardian for it because it just, it holds up to wear really, really well. They're really strong. I haven't had anything that I've made with this and the soft flakes crimp tubes. I haven't had anything that I made with that break, um, which is, you know, 
<laughs> kind of big. I've had other things uh, break on me before that I've made with other wires. But anyway, so let's go through this and get it sorted because I am going to be putting all of this in here for our, our, our fun and elucidation. All right, so champagne is the color that we've got with that. It's kind of a goldy color. It's a really, really good color to use with some gold findings. It's a nice metallic color. So that's the, uh, that's the one we've got with that. We've got our crimp tubes, and it looks like we do have both colors of crimp tubes. So we've got our silver and our gold. And then our ear wires. There's gold and silver. Like I said, let's get our findings and things open here. Oop, my, my button is caught on that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my findings right here at the front of this organizer because that's where I like to put these. And I'll sometimes put my charms in there too if they are small enough. I love these little sun things. You know what? You could probably do some beading around the inside of this with some like um, brick stitching maybe or do some wire wrapping around here to get some uh, like check glass or something on the hair with these. This is, oh, these are so cool. How oh, interesting. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm really into those. That's, that is, that is really cool. All right. Uh, where are we going? But yeah, these are sun beadwork findings, and, and that's exactly what they're for. They're beadwork findings, so you can have that there. I don't think these are going to fit in that by itself. Let me see if they will fit in here. Nope, they are just going to have to be on the side, something that uh, I keep maybe on top of everything. They will probably lay flat for when I close this. Yeah, that's that's how they're going to go since they won't actually fit in any of these. All right, so let's get, let's go through there. Um, we've got our Art Deco buttons. And this one, you can see that relief on there. It has some flowers there in this V. It is a very large button. This is, this is really fun. I like, I like that we've got these, these fun buttons. I'm just sticking that right in the front next to these other findings. And then we've got our rectangle flower beads and our Art Deco fan beads. And these ones have a silver finish and it looks like these ones have a travertine and gold finish. And I'm gonna put these in the same section because they're both the shaped check glass. There we go, like that. Let's move that guy out of the way. Let's let's open up our strands a little bit for that. And we've got our black color. Uh, these are ceramic beads, and we've got some really large holes on these beads, so they would work on like leather cord or silver silk. They would actually work really well on those. We got a whole strand of them. They're nice and big, and they are not too heavy. That's the thing about these ceramic beads is they're not too heavy, so they won't won't really weigh things down too much. Okay, well they all fit in the same section though without having to lay anything down flat. So if I don't have to lay things down, then I can have more sections for more things. That is perfect. Let me let me get this divider back in place. All right, so let's get these other strands open. We've got this larger check glass. Um, what is the size on this? Let's see, those are 10 millimeter. I think these are eight millimeter. 
it doesn't say does not say what size they are. Eight millimeter, yep, jet black with antique silver. That's what color these guys are. And they are fire polish beads with the half and half finish on there. And then we've got six millimeter white shell pearl strand shell pearl okay so it's not check glass pearls i am going to stick them right here why are you taking taking your time on that there we go these are that's nice that we've got those already just this little section with like the pearls and everything that's 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 classy all right so now we've got both of our jesse james beads guys we've got our deco the halls bead strand and i'm gonna pull this off of here because i can sort these together because there's going to be similar things in this and this that may go together this is the deck of the halls thing um, these are custom bead mixes that jesse james beads puts together for soft flex and the bead mix comes in the kit the bead strand is sold separately as an add-on and it looks like we've got some of these like flower petal type bead cap guys that might with some filigree things there are some fun things you could probably do with that like you can overlap them a little bit and make them into little flowers and put a little bead in the middle have yourself some nice earrings there's some fun fun things that you can do with those and again we've got these art deco links and i saw these in the um, Overlook Hotel Magical Mystery Bead Box and I think I still have some of them left over so I might pull those out of the bead box and add them to this just so I can have more fun with Art deco -y things. Now, this is really cool actually. Um, this is fairly lightweight so I'm guessing that this part is ceramic and this part might be resin. I'm just guessing they're cool to the touch that's why I'm guessing ceramic on this part um, because if they were acrylic they wouldn't be as cool to the touch but we get that they look like fool's gold they've got that that shimmer on there they are both square shaped with the rough sides and they have a hole drilled down the center of each of the squares these are super cool. <laughs> I'm going to do some fun, fun things with them. All right. And then we've got, is it just one of these? All right. So this could be great for a focal. I'm calling it going to get this black bead, get this chain tassel and maybe one of these guys up there. Maybe to make it make it fancy make it fancier yeah that's that's these two are definitely going to go together this was from the bead strand but this came in the bead mix that is a really cool tassel i'm going to stick this tassel right over here with the button and my uh clasps just get that out of the way and now let's go ahead and start sorting some of these guys let's pull out our silver silver findings between the bead mix and the bead strands there are some silver findings on all of these looks like we have some plain silver rondelles for spacers we have some of these silver fluted rondelle beads 
we have some of these sparkly beads that have the, the crystals along the outsides of them. We have some crystal rondelles that are wavy in silver. We have these spacer beads. They have a hole drilled from top to bottom there, but they could probably also be spacers on wider things like some leather if you strung them this way. Maybe that, I mean, that's, a, that's an option. That is a choice that we could make. If we were stringing, say, these with on some leather and we wanted to space them with these, we could put them between those on there. That is an option. I like having things that you can do more than one thing with. Okay, so here's all of our silver findings and spacers and beads. And I'm just gonna stick these right here in the middle. All right, and now we've got our gold ones. Looks like we've got a couple of these filigree bead caps. They are larger, so they will fit over some of these larger beads. And like this one, it's, it's a little bit tight, but what you can do with that is just press it down and it will spread out and fit over the top of it. Because they are um, malleable. So you can fit them over some of these larger beads. I'm gonna go ahead and stack these all together for those. And then we've got some gold beads that have the decorative embossing along the outside. And these are heavy, these are actually metal beads. And then we've got some smaller spacers that look like they've got little roses on the outsides of them in gold. So we've got some rose spacers and then we've got some daisy spacers. So I'm gonna take these gold findings. I'm gonna put these guys right here. And it looks like we are going to have enough room in here for all of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put these gold findings all in here. And then we can sort the rest of these. We're not gonna to have to really do a lot of roommate situations in here. I'm gonna stick these gold nugget guys and these connectors right here. And then I'm gonna take these champagne colored beads from the strand. They are a nice light champagne kind of peach color. I'm just gonna stick them right there. I'm gonna take these two pearl beads that are a little bit larger. It looks like they are eight millimeter versus the six millimeter pearls. I'm just gonna pop them in here with those. Just pop them over there. We have some barrel beads in a light ivory color. And they are very sparkly. I'm gonna put those right up there. These are, looks like hematite color. So they are not quite black but not really blue either, just a real dark gray, like hematite color. I'm gonna stick those there. And also these cube beads, and the hole goes right down the center of the cube. They have faceted facets on all of their sides. I'm gonna stick those there. I'm gonna put my large bead over here. And actually, because I've got so much more space, I'm going to put these fasted beads up here. And then these round, just some, these feel like wood. They are lightweight and they are dark color, but they might be like a dark, dark brown. I'm going to stick those over there. I think I might actually put this one over here so that I can see what's in here a little bit easier. 
All right, so there we have it. Deco the halls. And that is the design kit from Softflex. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and sorting. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day.